welcome to lesson time. Here we go. It's lesson time. Diving in. Let's do it. And all right. I always like to be honest with you. And I'm telling you honestly, this is one of the hardest lessons for the entire year. It really is. Because one of the hardest things to visualize and to work with are uh, customary capacity units the pints, the cups, the quarts, the gallons. And here we're going to be doing addition and subtraction in customary capacity units. So yes, be afraid, be very afraid, but also be reassured that if you find this confusing and difficult, that's normal. And if you just keep practicing it, you will get it, okay? Every student I've ever taught this to has been at least a little confused, and yet every student I've ever taught this to, when we sit down in a small group, we sit down one-on-one, -on -one, and we go through some of the stuff, they always get it. So you will get it. It's just gonna take a little work. Let's begin. Let's start. Great uh, opening review here is just remembering how many what's in a what's a who's it. So one gallon is four quarts, remember that? So then if you have a gallon and one quart, that would give you a total of, well, four and one are five quarts. See that? One gallon, three quarts would be four quarts in that gallon, plus three more is seven quarts. How about two gallons? Eight quarts, four in each gallon. Nine, I'm going the other way now, nine quarts. When we decompose out Four would make a gallon, another four would make a gallon, and that leaves one, so two gallons and one quart. Fifteen quarts, well, we can go four, eight, twelve, right, because we're counting how many quarts in a gallon. Four, eight, twelve, and that leaves three left over there. So three gallons, three quarts. One quart is how many pints? Yes, two, that's right. There are two pints in the quart. That's it. So then two quarts is, well, twice as many, right? Four pints, okay. Four quarts, just do times two because there's two pints in a quart. Eight pints, 10 pints. Oh, whoa, now we're going the other way. Okay, so now you have 10 pints. Every two of those is going to make a quart. All right, so they're, you're dividing by two now. So you'd have five quarts, see that? All right, so now 20 pints, okay, there are two pints in a quart, so we're going to divide 20 pints by two to get 10 quarts, all right. Now let's say you had 11 pints, ah, okay, so similar to the same as the first one we did there, we're going to have the five quarts we can pull out with one left over. If you wrote this out as long division, 11 divided by two would be five remainder one. Ah, you see how that works? Get it? It's cute, isn't it? It's so cute. All right, one gallon now is how many pints? Okay, we know that we already did. There's four quarts in a gallon, but then each of those four quarts has two pints in it. This can be double, so it's gonna be two times four is eight. Okay, so remember that, eight pints in a gallon. Okay, so then two gallons would be, well, if there's eight pints in a gallon, two times eight is 16, all right? Six gallons, oh, now they're making us think. Ugh. Six times eight would be 48 pints, okay? Because there are eight pints in a gallon. Now we're getting to the lesson, all right? It's gonna start off a little bit easier and then ramp up and then we get to subtraction and we all need to take a big breath and maybe, you know, pause the video and go for a walk. All right, five quarts is how many gallons in quarts? All right, well, Four of those quarts will give me a gallon with one left over. Okay, got that? Now, we're gonna do it th something similar here. We're gonna add, all right? See, so this was a straightforward conversion, right? Just saying five quarts is how many gallons in quarts. Now here, two quarts plus three quarts is five quarts. Ah, this is what we just did, right? How many gallons in quarts is that? Well, we just did it. It's you pull out the four quarts, that's one gallon, leaving one more quart. Here it is written out with the full decomposition. Okay, so two quarts and three quarts is five quarts. We decompose four quarts and one quart. The four quarts is a gallon. 
one quart left over. Remember, we can also think of this uh, as division. Five divided by four is one remainder one. Interesting. This is the easy example, friends. So I'm giving you all the detail here so when we get to the harder stuff, you know how it works. All right, step it up just a little bit. Three quarts and three quarts is, well, intermediate step is six quarts. All right, so now how many gallons and quarts is that? Well, we'll pull out the four quarts to make one gallon, and that leaves two quarts left over. So one gallon and two quarts. Cups! Remember our little cup, friends? Two cups and three cups is five cups. Okay, good. Now, what can we make that? What can we decompose five cups into? Well, two cups in a pint, right? So this could be how many pints? Two pints with one cup left over. Oh, but two pints is also equal to one quart. So one quart and one cup. This is where the head starts to hurt, right? One quart and one cup. You see how I, we went from cups, skipped over pints to quarts, but I took you through it. So we could also say two pints and one cup. See how this works here? Pull up two, pint, two, uh, two cups and a pint. So we pull out one, two pints. We'll use one over. Two pints is equal to a quart. That's why we have two different answers we could give here. All right, let's do another one like that. So three gallons and one quart plus three quarts. Okay, well the intermediate step is three gallons and well one and three is four quarts. Now how many quarts is that all together? Well each gallon contains four quarts, right? So three times four is 12 plus the four here, so a total of 16 quarts. But what could we have said otherwise? Ah, oh, look, look back here. Three gallons and four quarts. Oh, four quarts is a gallon, isn't it? So this is also equal to four gallons. Confused yet? I hope not. I hope, I hope we're keeping it together here. Okay, because it gets harder. No. <laughs> 17 quarts, three cups. You should notice right off, ooh, they hopped over pints, didn't they? All right, we have quarts and cups here, plus one cup. All right, so 17 quarts, four cups. What would we do next? Oh, four cups is equal to, well, two pints, right? Or, and two pints is equal to one quart. So how many quarts all together? These four cups are a quart. All right, so 18 quarts all together. But how many cups? Let's go back a step. 17 quarts it has four cups in each of those quarts. So 17 times four. Well, we can do that in our heads. Do 10 times four is 40. Seven times four is 28. 40 and 28 are 68 plus these four, 72. Okay, which we already said is also equal to 18 quarts, okay? Woo, hold on to handlebars. Because 18 quarts is how many gallons in quarts? Well, there's four quarts in a gallon, right? So divide those 18 quarts into gallons. Divide by four. Well, 18 divided by four. Four, eight, 12, 16. So four gallons, what's the remainder? 18 minus 16 is two. So four gallons, two quarts. Got it? All right. And when you look at this one, you notice there's some hopping over going on here. That's what makes these tricky is because the, the, the units aren't side by side. We kind of hop over quarts here. We have gallons and pints, and quarts fall in between there, right? So four gallons, seven pints, plus seven pints. Intermediate answer is four gallons, well, seven and seven are 14 pints. Okay, what would we do next? All right, let's put it all into pints. How many pints in a gallon? Okay, well, two pints make a quart, right? And there are four quarts in a gallon. So there are eight pints in a gallon. All right, so if we take those four gallons times eight, it's 32 plus 14, it's 46. So 46 pints, but we could have done something else, couldn't we? 
always, right? What could we have said otherwise? Okay, we could put it into gallons and pints. Ah, because 14 pints, does that make a gallon? Oh yeah, we just said that there were eight pints in a gallon. So we'll decompose out the eight. So that would give us five gallons and 14 minus eight leaves how many pints? Six pints, five gallons, six pints. Yeah. So that's as hard as it gets for addition. And believe me, it's true, it's gonna get wacky subtracty here. Um, as always, subtraction is a little more difficult. It requires a little, a little more time and thought and work. But as I said at the beginning, you can get this. It just takes some practice, okay? Here, let's begin. So we're gonna start off with something. <sighs> yeah, start off with something simple, okay. One quart minus three cups. Okay, notice that we're doing another unit hop, aren't we? Pints come in between quarts and cups. So let's decompose the quart. The quart is two pints, which is four cups, right? Because each of those two pints has two cups in it. So now, oh, now it's easy. Now it's four cups minus three cups. Uh, that we can do, right? See, so all, all you have to do here is do the conversion first, and then the subtraction is very straightforward. Okay, so one cup is the difference. Okay, so now here's a similar one. Eight quarts minus three cups. Well, eight quarts, can we put that into cups? We just said that. How many cups in a quart? Well, here's the, here's the two pints that are in a quart, and each of those two pints has two cups in it, so there's four cups in one quart. So eight times four will give us how many cups are in those quarts? 32. Ah, okay. Um, another way to decompose it. So we could do 32 minus three cups and get 29 cups. Here's another way is that we can, and this is how I always talk about back when we're doing fractions, we can set aside seven of those quarts. So we have eight quarts, picture them, set aside seven of them, and then take one of them and pour it into four cups. So now we have seven quarts set aside and four cups. And we can just take three of those cups away. So final answer would be seven quarts, one cup. Ah, nice, huh? Okay. So now this is similar, but now we have this little cup hanging out here. And again, notice we're hopping over pints. So that's the double conversion that makes this a little more challenging. All right, so let, let's do it with that second method uh, where we take those eight quarts, let's take seven of them and set them aside. And then that eighth quart is four cups, plus the one cup set cup that's already there is five cups. See that? Seven set aside, that eighth quart we pour out into four cups, and we already had one cup here, so five cups. So now the subtraction is very straightforward, seven quarts, five cups, minus three cups, seven quarts, two cups. All right, good, done with that one. Okay, now this is similar but different because now we're subtracting quarts and cups, all right? A couple ways you can go about this, but we do see we need to basically regroup. This is the same as regrouping we did in regular old subtraction and subtraction with fractions and with decimals. It's the same concept here, we have to regroup. So. Uh, we can take the eight quarts, set aside seven of them, pour out, and we just did this, so same number here. So pour out the eighth quart into four cups with the one cup we already had, so seven quarts and five cups. Now we can just do some straight on subtraction, right? Seven quarts minus six quarts leaves one quart. Five cups minus three cups leaves two cups. One quart, two cups. Good? So you see, all you have to do is slow down and take your time and work through these, and they will get to be a little bit easier in time. All right, now you notice here we have nine gallons minus four quarts. We see we need to regroup because we only have two quarts here. Now, is it already starting to get a little easy, right? Those nine gallons, we're going to set aside eight of them, and that ninth gallon, we're going to pour out as four quarts with the two quarts we already had. So we set aside eight gallons, and we have six quarts. Now, straightforward to subtract four quarts. Eight gallons, two quarts. Yes, yes, good. 
here, we're hopping over pints again, so we have that double conversion factor to work with, but 12 quarts, one cup, minus five quarts, two cups. Okay, see, we're doing one cup minus two cups. That's why we need to regroup. You don't just automatically regroup. For example, if this was 12 quarts, three cups, we could just subtract. We have to regroup because we can't subtract one cup minus two cups. So 11 quarts, we're just going to set aside. One of those quarts we pour out into four cups with the one cup already present, total of five cups. Now we can subtract. 11 quarts minus five quarts leaves six quarts. Five cups minus two cups leaves three cups. Woo! So if you're still hanging on here, that's great because this is about as hard as it gets right here. Seven gallons, three pints, and notice we're hopping over quarts there, minus two gallons, seven pints. You see we need to regroup because we can't do three minus seven. So you know how it goes already, right? We're going to set aside five of those gallons, one of them. Ooh, how many pints are in there, do you recall? There are eight pints in that gallon. And if you forgot, you'd have to rethink that, maybe even draw something to show, okay, here's a gallon four quarts, each quart has two pints, total of eight pints. Okay, so five gallons set aside. With that sixth gallon, we pour out into eight pints with the three pints already present, so 11 pints. So we've regrouped here, five gallons, 11 pints, minus two gallons, seven pints. Now it's just straight on subtraction, right? Three gallons and four pints. Excellent. Whoa, you made it through the basics of the lesson there. You're on to the problem set where you'll be doing more of this, practicing it, okay? This is an essential one. This one can be tricky until it's one of those things that's really hard until you just kind of get over the hump there and then you're like, oh, okay, I got this. You have that, I got this moment after the confusion disperses. Um, so look, just straight on addition and subtraction here. Addition and subtraction. And then they give you... Um, a word problem to do, so the capacity is three quarts. There's one quart, three cups in there. Now, when you draw the tape, you're going to draw the three quarts, right? And then that part of it is one quart, three cups already in there. We want to know the unknown part. So one tape you would draw for this. Um, and then another word problem here. First, we want the total it makes, right? So we'll be adding, but look what you're adding. Oh, they want to make it hard. We have pints, we have cups, we have gallons of quarts, we have quarts, and you have to add all that together. So different ways you can go about it. I've seen students put everything into cups and add it all together that way, or, or maybe add this one gallon, one quart to three quarts, and then convert that, and then add in the five pint and take it step by step. However you want to do it, as long as you get to the right place. All right, how many more cups could she add to make it the exact number, you know, like what would be, so if it ended up being, and it doesn't, I'm just saying, like if it was uh, three gallons, 15 cups, one more cup would take you to four gallons. That's what that question's asking. Exit ticket is just a little bit of addition and subtraction with one uh, word problem, and you know what to do when you hit homework. Head over to my homework time video and do the homework there with me, step by step, question by excruciating question. Well, I had fun. I hope you did too. And, and if you didn't, go back and watch it again. Have fun this time. All right, so I'll see you again next time. It is, once again, lesson time.